this is a response to Chris Hart. Uh, I have done more takes on this thing than I care to remember. My voice is already starting to hurt. Okay, I'm going to come at this from a bit of a secular angle. Your brain has different areas doing different things. You think about this text, and this pastor thinks about this text from the front of the brain. It takes a leap of faith and says, Yes, such beautiful things we have found. Such liberation and freedom. I love it. The possibilities. Then, there is the back of your brain, right on top of your brain stem, called the R complex. This part says, Oh my god, the things I took for granted are going away. This could jeopardize my social status, my meta social status, you know, my greater society, the ones I don't personally interact with. Uh, this could, you know, and the meta meta, you know, layer upon layer of my social status. That could affect my physical well being, my food supply, my clothing and shelter, my uh, water, my air. Everything could be threatened. What do I do? Now, the middle of your brain is supposed to sort this out and say, look, we're going to figure out which uh, risks are likely and which are not so much. And normally it does. Problem. The individuals who are very, very, what some people call left brain, which is facts and given understandings and the rigidity of knowing how things work, because that's the understanding it has, regardless of the facts. These people will, when challenged, try and either sweep things under the rug, go into denial, or attack on all fronts to try and invalidate uh, what they're looking at. And the last thing they'll do is try and understand it, or understand it completely. So, when you tell Christians, let's say your average Joe Sixpack, football playing, Republican voting, uh, Bible studies on Wednesday, uh, church on Sundays, mornings, uh, Christian. You try and tell him that uh, everything he thinks he knows about is wrong as far as the ultimate punishment goes, that there's actually a parole for hell. And he will explode in rage. The meta levels of fear for his status suddenly kick in. And religion is unique because you get this in professional academia, seemingly secular academia, when you can challenge the theory of relativity, which has been done, uh, you could, when you can challenge given quantum physics, which has been done, when you can challenge uh, the knowledge of human antiquity and given history, which has been done repeatedly, and do it successfully with facts, the claws come out, careers are shredded, and people will argue to the death that what you're saying is not valid. Because the left brain deals with what it knows. The right brain deals with uh, what might be and what can be done. And the front of your brain says, takes those leaps of faith I was talking about. Your pastor writing this book took a leap of faith and what he saw is beautiful freedom. The people who attacked him see as a, an unbelievable number of threats layering on top of each other, threatening to crush everything they know. And because they can't think in terms of, well, if I reimagined everything, what would it look like? No, they're very, very comfortable where they are. So the R complex throws up a storm and says, no, this will not happen. If you really want to see something funny and tragic and hilarious all at once and educational, have a pastor on a panel with several people of different, like non-Judeo-Christian faiths, or even Islam is a good one, but, or ones that they don't understand. And when they start saying to the pastor, or the priest, or whoever, you know, it's funny, our religion says the exact same thing. We've got more in common than you think. The minute you say, we've got something in common, they panic. They start getting agitated. The more you agree with these people, the more angry and animalistic they become. Because the R complex is kicking in, and they can't stand uh, the threat of people saying, well, their religion is practically your religion. We don't need to put money in your collection plate. They're just as good. And once you understand that, suddenly you'll get why these people attack. They need segmentation. They need to manage their flock. They need to reap the income. 
they need to make sure that they are safe. And if someone else gets hurt, as long as it's not them, the R complex shuts up. And people are very beholden. This is why a lot of spiritual teachers, I'm not saying religious, I'm saying spiritual teachers, uh, and some religious teachers, will say you've got to confront your own darkness, you've got to get in charge, in charge um, you've got to get on top of your fear, because if you don't master your fear, there is no end to the damage it will do to your life. Anyway, mate, it's been great making this video. I hope you have a great afternoon, and I hope this wasn't too rambly.